Random Order Show, episode 176, man. We back locked in. We locked in. It's your boy, Jermaine Richards, man. I'm here to talk to him. Be baby train the building. If you don't vote with me, don't do what I do. Hmm? Shout out Sebastian in the building. To talk to me. Hey, man. What's poppin'? I'm going to say this. I like that Tanashi song now. I like it, man. It's going up. What a wholesome episode we prepared for you, man. We touched on all the hard hitting topics. Window blinds. When a dude house is too dude for too long. Surround sound systems. Getting your interior design ideas shut down as a man. Old people in prison. Locked up abroad. Vancouver edition. And of course, man. Clam chowder gone wrong. Oh, my. I keep dropping my phone, goddamn. Life, life, amen. Yeah, man. That life. That part. that part. Damn, I forgot to add the new Mark Wahlberg's. You heard that, said Trey? You probably didn't hear that. Huh? huh? I, asked, I was asking Trey if he heard it. Uh, nah, I ain't hear nothing. You didn't hear it? Nah, yeah, we'll man. lock it in for the next yeah, episode. Yeah, we'll get it in next time. Yeah, nah, I ain't hear it. They thought I fall off, ain't no way. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna yeah. see it. That re yeah. I guess by now, by the time this drops, Boston Celtics are probably the champs. So salute to them. What they gonna say now? Damn, Damn. Right? Confidence. Damn. Damn. Come on, shout out Jason Tatum. Damn. You feel otherwise? I feel otherwise, man. I would love for Kyrie to get one. I would, but. You know, it's not gonna happen. Not, not this oh, time. He has one. Kyrie is old. He's like old and. <clears throat> 12 versus the Celtics since he, since he left them. Yeah. Like, that's crazy, bro. It is, yeah. but we'll see, we'll see, man. Celtics is such a packed team. It almost feels like, you know, niggas is cheating. A little bit. It's such a, a packed team. Like, you know, I'd love to see an even matchup team go head to head, but Celtics literally, like, breeze through. I'm not taking anything away, but they really nah. breeze through this playoffs, man. Like, while Mavs is fighting demons. I'm fighting for my. Life. But I mean, it's a it's a very like Orlando <clears throat> Magic situation where like the team that you guys are building now to when y'all finally like hit that ceiling and start like winning, like mm. that's what the Celtics have been doing the past what four or five seasons, like from they drafted mm. Jason Tatum to Jalen mm. Brown and like building yeah. around them for to sure. now win. So they they so they supposed to be where they at or for sure yeah, right. for sure. You know they made the right moves and getting Drew Holiday and a Persingas, but. Mm -hmm. They're beatable, man. They're beatable, but you just you really have to be like super on your shit to beat those guys because they're they're definitely on some next shit. But they're beatable because they because they beat themselves. You said they beat themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they're beatable because they beat themselves. What do you mean? They just like make mistakes and oh, real, real. Yeah, you know I'm saying that like type of shit. You know? Did you ever play 2K? Of course. You still? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I have 2K24. Yeah. Oh, so, so. Do you? What years did y'all skip? I feel like there's a dropout. Um, I skipped. I got 23. Got 20. I might have skipped 21. Oh, that's it. Yeah. You skipped some years. And that's and that's. I have a lot of 2Ks. I'm not gonna mm. lie. Like even yeah, from like PS3 to PS4. Like I have a lot of 2Ks. It's kind of crazy. You ever played the old 2Ks and shit? Yeah, 2K. I, my first 2K was 2K2 on the Dreamcast. Mine was literally 2K on Dreamcast with Allen Iverson. No, I mean like now. Like if you if you know are you gonna go back to 21 for no reason? No, that CD is useless. Yeah, no. Cause I put in um I bought NBA Live 06 the other day. Mm. I was like, bro, I tried to play that shot. I said, oh, this is this ain't it. <laughs> it was like stick figures playing ball. It, and shit. it wasn't even stick figures, but it's just like this, the the mechanics that we've gotten used to in basketball mm. games today. Like they just didn't <laughs> exist at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you just really yeah. can't dye your mind back that far to like enjoy that. <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> so I finally got my my situation set up. So I have you know my PS5 plugged into the TV, so now I can play more communal games. You got your Sonos speakers? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no fraud. Fraud no alert. Fraud, fraud alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. You weren't getting fraud alerts in in Europe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah call yeah. about that shit. <clears throat> for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah, I got the speakers. Sounds fucking amazing, man. I'm back to watching movies on surround. Oh my god. Yeah, honestly, you're lucky you don't get them here. A Sono system is so nice. It's the same one, no? Rich sound, huh? <laughs> Send me one, no? No. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? It's, a I mean, such, it's such a rich sound, man. And like, it yeah. fills space properly. 
Like listening to music in that room now, it's like you're oh like God. you're in the song. Yeah, literally you're in the song, and I'm hearing so many like new instruments and shit. Like just like Uncle Toba's taught us like before, but yeah, no, hearing hearing some good movies with Dolby Atmos. You don't strike me as a soundbar guy. It's kind of interesting. Soundbar. Yeah, you, yeah. You don't strike me as a soundbar guy. Wait, what do you mean soundbar? A soundbar. <laughs> Wait, why'd you say? Why'd you single up the soundbar though? What do you mean? Because aren't you talking about the soundbar? Aren't you talking I'm about talking the soundbar? Like, yeah, I got. No, nah, I'm talking about the whole system though. The whole soundbar, oh, multiple speakers. Yeah. It's oh a, well, it's I thought a, you were talking about for the TV and shit. That's yeah, a soundbar, yeah, that's right? right? So I got, I got, it's a setup. It's the soundbar and then the, and then, and then two speakers. So it's off the ground, but mm-hmm. type shit. Honestly, when it's just alone, cause I just had the soundbar before I did the fraud alert and then I had to wait for it. So when I had just had the soundbar, it's just like, you hear the sound. It's like, yeah, it still sounds better, but it's just come from over here. But when you divide them up and now the speakers like, okay, I don't have to do that much work. Cause this one's over here. So I can just do <laughs> what I'm supposed to do over here. It's beautiful, but no, nah, I'm, I'm a huge sound guy, man. I'm fucking anything I do, it has to like, it has to sound good. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, I like my music too much. I like movies, and shows too. Much. I just like sound too much. Like I, I need to, I need it to be fucking sick. And your man, as techie as you are, if you, I feel like audio don't really like do nothing for you. Like audio tech, I love a good speaker and shit. My problem is I don't really watch movies. Right. I love some immersive music for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I feel like I took a speaker break. I used to be crazy over speakers for sure. Really? Yeah, for sure. Just growing up, man, we just fucking, y'all got a new speaker. Fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How loud can that shit go? It was yeah. over that for blasted. real, but yeah. yeah. It's a big setup, though. So it's once you like, setup, yeah. you know, go, go through all that and actually set it up, then I feel like you'd be, you know, I got ready for a sound because you weren't, you wasn't really doing that until you got your setup and you find a new appreciation for it again yeah right. i tried to right. do it in dalhousie but i just got the i just got the no nah, what the fuck no, 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 i no, tweaked no, that no, bitch no. out because yeah, i had the nice. sound bar yeah. then i had these little ones around but like that's what i'm saying when you do it proper and you just set like one room like the one room now has literally there's fucking four speakers in there mm. including the sonos move it's it's so nice it's so nice honestly it sounds really good you just want to watch shit for no reason. Like, I was watching the finals in there. Fucking Jason Tatum's yelling behind me. I'm like, yo, this is sick. You hear the fucking Oh, that's guy amazing. Shit. Wow, yeah, I can't like, wait to experience that. Just on the that's right fine. side, you'll hear the ref over there because he's on the right mm-hmm. side. So, like, certain movies, when they use uh, Dolby or spatial audio, mm-hmm. it's literally surround. So, like, they'll have, if someone's breaking glass to your right, you just hear it on the right speaker, and it's, like, kind of faint. And then mm-hmm. the front speaker just focuses on the front sounds and like delivering everything. But mm-hmm. nah, it's nice because that's what I'm saying. The speakers will stop doing certain things, and the other ones do what they're supposed to do. But oh man, no, nah, it's it's I'm enjoying movies in there so far, man. Mm-hmm. Two questions: Have you watched Monkey Man? The fuck you, call me. <laughs> nah, I haven't watched Who's it. Yet. Monkey about Man, that? Walid. Monkey Man, or something? yeah. He uses that guy as like. It's like a meme for him, yeah. What's his name again? Is it Dev? Dev Patel. Dev Patel, yeah. You should see how it feel on the uh, on the surround sound, cause a lot of sounds in that. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain. I'm watching certain movies over again, um, mm-hmm. just to hear certain sounds. But like, just the fucking audio, like, oh my god. And one thing I will say, oh, Drake's music's music, <laughs> Drake's music, you and like, you appreciate what the nigga does. Because mm-hmm. the sound is so clear. Like when you hear one song and you play another one, anyone that's just really good at mastering their music, like mm-hmm. Diplo, his shit sounds amazing on there. Mm-hmm. Billie Eilish sounds amazing on there. Like there's certain, you'll understand who's really doing, who's really tweaking their music versus like have, playing something like raw yeah. on the raw side. Connie yeah. sounds, oh man, certain Connie songs on there sound amazing, but. Don't play my shit in there. <laughs> no, pretty clean. Pretty clean. I actually did play it pretty fucking really? clean. Really? Oh, still. fuck. Yeah, okay, shout I out to Vivid. I was like fuck. testing things up there. Okay, for real. Are you going to get those, uh, uh, you know, the LED lights that change with the, with the TV and shit? What you watching? My shit can already do that, but I, I, I don't need to set that up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like behind the okay. TV and shit. Oh, that yeah. one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, that one's like a, yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't need all that. Wow, that would be pretty cool. Because I like watching movies in the dark. Oh, okay. There's a certain one that does it nice, but if you're watching Harry Potter and they do like a spell, like your whole room will go and light follows it. Like that shit. I'm watching cold. Harry Potter. I might have to get yeah. that. I'm going to be flinching too much and shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just took yeah. camera. <laughs> it's around like the frame of the television and shit. So yeah. it's like one side will like brighten up if a dragon spitting some fire. Yeah. Like it's cold, it's sick. But honestly, I like watching movies in the dark. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, nah, it's 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 fucking sick. But I think I need a sub. I need a little base, mm-hmm. a little more base. That's when you're gonna get the broomstick on, on the floor from the people downstairs and shit. No, 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 Kylo. <laughs> yeah. No one. Yeah, no. You remember doing that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had it done to us, but sometimes people are too loud upstairs, and my mom just grab a broomstick and just <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. My aunt used to just stomp. Like, when we'd be in the basement, she just stomp on the floor. So when you heard that stomp, you know, you had to chill. <laughs> yeah. And, but she would do that for so many things. Like, if it was when she finished cooking dinner, she would stomp. And we knew, all right, let's get upstairs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just jump and land on her heels. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's not, that's, let's get it. Nah, man, it's pretty, it's pretty chill, uh, cause it's an office, so it's like, when they're not there, you can fucking blast as loud as you want. But that's the next thing about great audio. This is not no fucking ad for Sonos, but it's so clean that even when it's fucking blasted and the doors are closed, it's concealed in there. Isn't that the house then? Yeah, huh? Isn't that the house more than Sonos? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's gonna be a bit of both, but it's like, the sound is just so crisp. So it's not like distorted, mm. you know what oh, I mean? Okay. The bass yeah. will definitely do it. The bass is going to shake regardless, but it's like, it's almost uh-huh. like clean air. <laughs> it's like clean fucking filtered water. It's a responsible rumble. Yeah. Yeah. Grown, it's like grown bass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No. That's important, man. Cause sometimes, you know, when a bass, when a speaker can't handle bass, mm-hmm. it's not pleasant. It's not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's yeah. shitty. And mm-hmm. games on there. Ghost of Tsushima. So I'm about to start a stream back up, but I want to. I'm gonna be playing it in there, and it's just you're hearing all this. Yeah, watch. I'm gonna get back on my shit, man. Watch. Come on, man. Love that. Watch, That's right. Man. That's right. I do respect watching a good movie in the theaters and the mm-hmm. fucking THX, mm-hmm. THX yeah. one or whatever AVX mm-hmm. joint. Mm-hmm. But that's when that shit is scary. When Michael Myers is behind you. Yeah. Oh yeah, gang. I'm like, all right, I can't now. Yeah, they got your mm-hmm. shirt shaking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, man. Speakers there, no fraud alert. We're good on all parts. How's your space, Jermaine? Shit, I'm still, I'm still getting it, man. When you move, man, you just see all the things you gotta buy, and you're just like, all right, yeah. That's you start mapping it out on a calendar. Oh, see, for I'll probably, real? Be all, I probably, all, I'll probably, I'll probably put together by. A, mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, like back to school type. Nah. October. I gave you till December. Remember when I said when I seen, first seen this place? But is that you or is that Sim? Because you know that's a different. <laughs> It's like, you know, yeah, guest room yeah. shit and like the Okay. You gotta take care of yourself first and get your space For situated sure. and it's like all right, then you know what I mean? For Prioritize. Sure. I remember especially when you move to a bigger space too, cause you'd be like, Shit, this bitch empty. <laughs> yeah, man. There are certain things that uh, you always you know, rugs. Oh they're not playing rug prices. Rugs should not be that expensive. Bro, I, I think I've already said this on the show, but th- yeah, you know, might have touched on yeah. that. Should yeah, not be, bro. Think, boys, you gotta, you gotta give some, you gotta, you gotta show some grace here. Robots make it, nigga. Oh, I get the, the ones I'm gonna look at for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me the robot joint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm AI yeah. carpet, man. Like, yeah. Shouldn't I bring the price down? Yeah. No labor costs and shit. Just mm-hmm. a robot checker. Cause you was on rugs.com, nigga. Complaining yeah. about the prices. <laughs> oh no, I, I had, but this is what I just gotta say this because I bought it. <laughs> so I got to <laughs> talking to Sports, yourself right now. Gotta, <laughs> oh, you got to pay for yeah, it. Right, on, <laughs> I was fucking pissed pressing checkout. But I just, I, my problem was I'm setting up a smaller space. One. Two, I've already waited about two years to finish setting up the space. So it's like the time is now and I'm not going to, like, I had a new couch coming in. I'm not going to set the couch up and then take it apart to put the rug down. It's like, if everything's going now, <laughs> everything's going now. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, that's why I just had to kind of get mine done quick. But now I just, oh my God, it's it's such, it's such a good vibe, man. It's such a good chill pad. I don't, I think Jermaine's probably going to move faster because a woman going to get that in order. Nah, gang. It's not even about fast. It's, it's, it's a lot. But I'm just saying, stuff. nah, it's not yeah. going to be like me. I, my old crib, like I could have been, I, I would have looked. How it looked yeah. for a minute. <laughs> Very manly. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be Saturday. We gotta go get this. Yeah. 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 I can't even shit get down. But also, <laughs> exactly. it's, it's, it's like that's a full project, like done. You guys don't need anything else. And now everything else is just extra. Because mm-hmm. you guys will probably be done by, yeah, come September, the rooms will mm-hmm. be full, but you're, she's gonna 
say, oh yeah, this is a guest bedroom, but we still need this. We still it'll be those last little things. December mm-hmm. is like, yo, know, here's a guest bedroom. Towels are there. Good night. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's not gonna be done to like, cause it's just it's literally just a lot. Like one yeah. room is gonna. Co- I don't even want to tell you what I spent for that one room. It pisses the, me off. Every element is a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for sure, it just gets there. There's a lot of tech in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. How do you, I you guys start? Go ahead. I'll say, are you guys like like seasonal changing people? Like, oh like fuck shit, no. man. All okay. that yeah, yeah. She do, though. <laughs> she do all that We gotta get the Christmas version Yo, of the bed. God, uh, Bro, I, I got my eyes closed. I'm sleeping, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what color the sheet is? My sheets are still from Christmas 2005. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do I care? It's like leaving your Christmas lights up all year. You remember that Christmas comforter? The black, the green one with orange on it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro, look. 2000. Blankets oh, are, you got to keep a blanket with some time yeah. on it, man, because that shit going to make you, yeah. going to ground you back, man. Warm, yeah. 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 yeah, no, trust me. I, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Me, this is the thing. I live with Julian, so it's just like a nigga crib. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. Like, it's, it's, I don't even remember when, like, my fights with Julian, because I'm like, bro, it's too nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dang, like, we can't, like, and we had, we had long talks about it because I'm like, yo, we have to, there's just certain things that you got to go through in life to humble yourself. And right. a lot of those conversations where I'm like, yo, we need a new couch, but it just wasn't the time and I had to understand that. So now you, you grind it out, you hustle through it, and it's like, all right, cool. Now when you get a new couch, it feels that much better. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. So I'm saying it took the two years. In that two years, I'm telling Julian, I'm like, bro, we can't keep living like this, gang. You know you hold something? I'm like, we can't keep living like this. Whatever you're holding, this is like a piece of shit. Gang, we can't keep living like this. Like, it's our coach in your age. Like, bro, well, we had two forks in the crib. Yeah. And the nigga's response was, bro, there's only two of us. <laughs> yeah, you never want to hear, where's the other fork? <laughs> the all- <laughs> and the thing is, I can't find it. You can't say for real, no, no, there's only two. So, Sheldon, that's why when you started coming over and you're saying, bro, you're never cooking. You got to pick up a fork. You got to know for you, gang. Spatula dirty right now, bro. <laughs> that's it, bro. That's it. order Uber Eats, gang. Turn, get out the kitchen. The kitchen was literally just storage. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. I swear to God, you put shoes in I, there. Yeah, bro. There's literally <laughs> fucking shoes where my rice should have been. <laughs> Dog, I remember one time I used Brooklyn's bowl as a. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to pour some cereal. I'm like, bro, where the fuck? My bowl had dog bones on it. <laughs> dog bones and fucking holy bad fuck. trees. No like, Yo. way, bro. I literally told you, I said, gang, we gotta stop living like this, man. But it's just like, oh, shit. It's, you, ever, you, ever, you, ever, you ever use your own plate and cut yourself? <laughs> what? What? Use your own plate? <laughs> Dog, my plates were injuring me, bro. I'm like, the plate was cracked. So I'm grabbing it. I'm fucking turning around in the microwave. Just get my food rotation. I'm fucking... Mm. Cut my oh, fucking sh- thumb. I said, gang, we gotta <laughs> stop living like this. We gotta go to Ikea, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, with the blessing of God mm-hmm. and patience, mm-hmm. you know, I just... Mm-hmm. I let shit rock. And, you know, eventually we stopped living like that. But it's just... It, it just made... I'm pretty sure I talked about this about my old computer chair. It just made a lot of things uh, you know better when actually when you actually got there and you know you stopped living like that so yeah yeah sure yeah, yeah. Me, 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 me. I say all that to say sometimes guys will take it too far and you need a woman in your life to say alright literally, <laughs> literally or I'm leaving you <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing bro me and Jermaine were li- our, our, our couch it was a blow up mattress, and it was all it was all good for too long. It was too good. I feel that you definitely felt that. it because you sat on it. Yeah, right? you feel that. <laughs> you that? Oh, Sean, you want to sit? <laughs> you get two minutes. <laughs> we'll go to our room and grab our air mattress and bring it out. Stand <laughs> the couch. Hey, don't even my bed, gang. <laughs> Oh my god, man! We was breaking down steak on the on the window sill. And, and, and anyone that's um, 
college students you know what i mean anyone living in dorms or living alone in their first time man comment down below maybe your two your your most comfortable moment of living where you're telling yourself it's okay because you know what i mean i'm being vulnerable i'm putting myself out there i'm telling y'all what i did on my dark days mm-hmm. y'all man go ahead and be vulnerable down there with me man because i don't i don't went through it gang. Fuck, man. You never want to buy a rug, man. That's my thing, Just bro. something that, you know what I mean? You don't really want to buy that much. It's that much. And then I think there's like uh, there's like certain types of rugs that you want to stay away from just because the maintenance is going to be like too much, like for what it's made out of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you don't want to get an ugly one. Honestly, I got one rug from Home Depot. Whatever. That's flame me in the comments. I was surprised I even seen it in there. I, def- yeah. I went in there for something else. I seen rugs. I said, hold up. For me, my first place, I'm a guy. Caught this little black rug. Cool. Yeah. Looks oh, great. torched. You know what I'm saying? This bro, was a, uh, bro. You tied it to your roof? What year? Sorry. Yeah. And what year is this? Nah. So I don't. What year is this? You ever smell behind your ear? All right. We'll answer that after. One thing at a time. Uh, this is, when did I move into? It was like 2022, I think. Yeah. But it was oh, like okay, so they, your first place. Yeah, they like wrap it up so like rug, it just yeah. fit in my it just fit in my car like from the back to the front. You know, it's like down yeah. the center. Excuse me. But yeah, I love that rug. I was like, yeah, I felt so accomplished. I think I spoke about it. It's a copter rug, like sick. Yeah. Yep. Man, my girl got to that crib. She said, "What the fuck is this?" I was like, "Hey, man!" It was <laughs> yeah. it was like, right. Yeah. So, like, I had to fight for like a good two weeks for that rug, and then she's finally just like went to IKEA and bought another rug. And I was like, "Damn!" Hey, man. If I don't gotta buy the rug, I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm always yeah, gonna walk yeah. a free rug. Yeah, oh, I'm like, God, shit. Nice. nice, you know. Yeah. I love it now, you know. But for me, I was chilling. You ever have an idea as a man? For some interior design, and a girl just hits you with, "You're gonna put that there." Yeah, and you gotta be like, <laughs> "He's looking around." No, I ain't. I ain't sitting there. Bro. That's not. It's a concept. <laughs> you gotta move. <laughs> no, I had to see it. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> How would you approach this? <laughs> Yeah, that's I'm even trying no more, bro. I'm just like the way they shut it down so hard, yeah. bro. And then it's like, well, what do you think? Like, you don't care what I you think. Don't care yeah, what you I don't care. Yeah, and you don't that's know. what we said talking about in the last episode. I'm gonna give you a little bit of my insight on what I think. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna put the rug down. I'm gonna get the couch, and I'm gonna have a a, 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 a a leaf tree coming down this way, so it goes over you when you sit down. And I'm just gonna put the Red Bull fridge there. Red Bull. Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> French. <laughs> Oh, this is a dude's room. And I'm like, hey, hold on, bro. Yeah. I'm a nigga, bro. But when they start digging your shit, I'm like, hey, you like this yeah, shit? Yeah, like, you like how I did that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. With the trees now. So, and I hope you're going to get the hue out. Oh, the hue, yeah. And you're going to light up. My, my shit is definitely cooked. My shit is cooked. Yeah. Not. Nah, I did a good job, boys. I did. I did a good job with with dressing the room, man. And uh, I was but proud, that, honestly. It, but you asked, is that your opinion? Shit. Yeah. Oh, is my, that your ladies? Oh, is that wait, like a ladies' on. opinion? Well, first off, let's get one thing clear. I'm sending links. <laughs> I'm oh, sending links. before you buy? But, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, I, I heard that. Oh my god, I'm the most indecisive person in life. Word. I'm the most indecisive person in life. So it's like. I could never just see something, buy it, and say, okay, yeah. Unless it's like a speaker, I'm not asking nobody about no shit. Like, yeah, ten, I've, I've seen out, 10 reviews. Give a fuck. Marquez Bradley mm-hmm. said we good. We yeah. Good, man. <laughs> if Marcus and Sheldon say the laptop good, then it's on some gaming PC shit. I'm gonna know who to ask. Now, when I'm when I'm I'm going through my complications of of carpet on rug, I might have to ask, I might have to ask some friends. Yep. That's the, smart. Those, that's oh my god, yeah. yeah. But come on. The, it's, it's about the links that I'm sending to say, hey check this mm-hmm. out what do you think but that's when i got a lot of mixed reviews when i'm asking one person to say oh, i really love this you're gonna do that one and that could get you in a <laughs> that could get you in a spiral man <sighs> yeah, yeah you, know, like, you, you you just as indecisive if you was by yourself yeah, yeah for real <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what well, you, mean? you know when you really love your idea when you're like mm-hmm. man fuck you nigga i'm still gonna do it yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about see me when i come out here with the link Keep my fucking link, man. <laughs> hey, you're not it. coming over. I lo- right? Honestly, I love yeah. that moment when I'm just like, if it's like, especially like clothing or something, mm. and my girl be like, she don't like it, but I know I fuck with it. I'd be like, Psh. Yeah. You got to you see me on here like this. Yeah, Sorry. Take a separate yeah, car. You know yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Meet yeah, me there. Man. For sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I definitely, I was definitely trying to throw some combos together. And, yeah, you know the ladies are definitely gonna say, "Oh yeah, this color helps." Because I couldn't paint my wall, so I'm you already can't? dealing with a no. I'm already dealing with an ice cap brown. 
So this why is can't like you like iced coffee latte they brown? Can't pre-brown? Just, pre-brown. Just rental yep, agreement. Man. You can't. Well, a nigga probably can if I push, but I'm not trying. You know what? I'm not trying to remind these niggas I'm still living there, and then they just say, "Hey, man, what you trying to pay my wall? Hey, your rent now went up two fifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I heard what I'm, you. I heard. I'm not that type of guy to start reminding you about some shit. Right, I'm right, in here, right. you know. I'm keep it low key. I don't even if I know I can't paint. I ain't even going to ask. You know what I mean? So Word, I feel, I feel we deal it. with the wall. We deal with the carpets. Now I'm dealing about textures and, and light colors. So even the carpet, the rug was the biggest one. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm spending so much money on this shit. This has to look good. But the rug, it, it looks good, man. And it, it com- the colors complement the, the space and bring it boosts it out, man. So nice. Good rap. You got to yeah. ask the ladies about drapery, man. I'm you never, I'm never get ladies. my own drapes. Oh, man. Man. I hate the my black blacks. Out, blackout black, man. <laughs> you nah. just get black ones. <laughs> just black out black, the, man. The God's yeah. joint, bro. I'm what the fuck? I'm pulling them clothes and opening them to see outside. That's it. Okay. You don't got blinds. You do drapes. Yep. No, we got we got we got both. Do the blades? Do the drapes match the blinds? The blinds are blinds. Blinds are what? No, we got no, blinds. No, my fault. We got blinds, blinds downstairs, yeah. and then we got drapes upstairs. Yeah, drapes. What do you mean, drape? What? What's your question? Drapes is like the shit. Do the you drapes got. match the blinds? Blinds are just you white. Know, yeah, it's not going to be on both. Yeah, blinds are just white. It was a joke where, over both of y'all heads, man. Okay. You want to break it down or no? What, do the drapes match the cup, the rug and shit? That's what the niggas be saying. What is it? The chicks. Oh, did I say it wrong? Maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't even okay. participate in that shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't even see it. I'm just a man. So I hate so bullshit ass plastic blinds, man. Mm-hmm. Respect me. You know the paper blinds, nigga. When they oh. brand new house, like all right, welcome. fresh house. Yeah, here's yeah. your fucking blinds. You f- fucking <laughs> <laughs> take it. And the paper blinds, like, yeah. bro. They literally just rip three opens. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're done for. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We definitely had those up too long at one point. Yeah, our old crib. Mm-hmm. I got these ones that you got right here, but my shit is like the wooden joints. These aren't. These are wooden blinds or fake wood type. Nah, okay. My shit is an older version of this where when you pull the, you know when you pull the string? Mm-hmm. I pulled the string too hard to fucking pull string <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to bring it up. Not now, girl. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, the shit, the shit, uh, the thread on the, on the pulling mm-hmm. part. That the pulling string, went too yeah. thin and just fucking like skin. Damn. And now yeah, my shit's right. hanging like this every time I want to fucking... Pull it up. Shit. I gotta, you know, you gotta lift it and assist it. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on and lock the string. Yeah, and shit. yeah, yeah. Damn, Dude, we going into the crib trying to open the blinds. Hey, hey, I got, it, I got. It. The way you gotta do it. Watch out. Yeah, man. But I want, Damn. I want a new blinds. The blinds are fucking expensive, so I said, "Fuck it, to keep this shit closed." Mm-hmm. I'm about to see. I'm about to see. Mm-hmm. There's never clear enough instructions on blind strings. Like, what? What's the perfect angle? You don't know what the fuck angle you're going for. Mm-hmm. You just waiting to hear the click and shit. There should be a better mechanism. They got the new ones now. Where you just like push it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice new joints. Yeah, that string was never cool. No, man. They always getting tangled and shit. You don't know who the fuck's yeah. tangling it? Mm-hmm. It's just a ball. Yeah, it's just tangled. And I don't even pull too. mine. I just open the. I just either spin the thing or close the thing. That's I don't right. even like put it up. Like I'm not doing that. Yeah, nah, that's real. Man. That's real. That's real. Unless you know I'm what I'm saying. My window sill. Yeah, that's right. what I was gonna say. Let that light. Right. No, but light. I just open the thing and it'll come there's, through. The there's t- gonna be more light though. You open up the blinds. It's enough though. And you know, I'm a I'm a turn the light on type of nigga. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah. I turn the light on. My girl hates it, but I turn the light. I need a light on. Like I need to see. I love natural sunlight. I can't do like the like. Like the yeah. colored lights and shit. Real. That's something I'm, I'm. That's something I'm still adjusting to. Like we got them she in here. Like the shit. Yeah, the shit you like adjust from your phone. Like blue and green and shit. Yeah, I feel like I need to find like a way to put it on the light switch. Oh, you. Oh, can. they have those. They have those. I'm just not trying to go on my phone and like. Bro, you mean hit the light switch? Yeah. Shit. And huh? it's also in the control panel. You can just like switch it real quick. In the phone? You can get, yeah. And you can, okay. on the hue, there's like a little circle thing and it'll be three buttons and you can just set them. So one will be blue, one can be red, one can be fucking nice. regular light. You just click it. But the hue lights are nice in like an entertainment space or like a lounge yes. space. Because now yes. you come over, it, it, there's blue over there. Yes. And then there's red over here. Yes, you know what I mean. That like, should be in my bedroom. It could be in your bedroom because I, I like I like a low blue light. Yeah, 
But then I'm I trying could. to get something out of my drawer I can't see because it's red. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you gotta go white mode. Yeah, but then, go then white white I gotta mode. go in the app and you know what I'm saying. So yeah. this, I just hit the switch. Yeah, <laughs> and nah, then we like vampires. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's more for it's more for hanging out and shit. It's not really for practical. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Yeah, but it's nice. It's nice yeah, though. I can't lie. It is nice. It's nice when you like want it like if you're like mm. watching tv or you're like yeah. chilling before bed like it's nice for sure exactly mm. you want the lights on but you don't need all the fucking yeah you know, baseball stadium going and shit mm-hmm. yeah yeah but i love for lights sure. man i fuck mm. with speakers i fuck with i'm like a moth mm-hmm. i just fucking <laughs> love yeah. you love know those lights. uh you yep. know those 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 like things you plug in and it has like a little light and then it's like a fly trap you know those things yeah, you yeah, like yeah, plug yeah, in a little yeah, light you yeah, hang it up uh-huh. and shit yeah, yeah 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 i just we need to get one of those. So just like that popped in my head when you said I'm like a moth. Oh, real <laughs> Cause, you know, right. they they go to the, Yeah, because they go to the light, yeah. Oh, then it fucking zaps them. And then they go to the yeah. light. Really and they right. go to the light for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what, man? I, I have respect for moths. Real deal. Yeah, man. I why? was just thinking, though. Why? I didn't think you guys would ask me. <laughs> <laughs> they just chill and go to the light, bro. And we just keep know. swatting them away. The thing is, they don't chill. They're like a bug. They don't, yeah. I hate bugs that like aren't calculated with where they're going, mm-hmm. and they be just crashing into yeah. everything. It's just scaring everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like I'm trying to like not kill you and just like push you, you know out the I mean? crib. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And you're not you're not working with me, so now yes. I gotta yeah. I gotta get crazy and like roll the magazine up. Right? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, now you got me rolling the magazine up. Tight know. shit. They always got me? a thin coat of dust on them too. I don't like that shit. Yeah. Oh, oh do they really? Moth crash into your black tea. Yeah. You got a smidge. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Where'd you go, yes. bro? Yes. Speaking of white teas, I have been spending the last four days like properly rehabilitating my white teas because I'm tired of buying so many white teas. Damn, you got a process. So I got a process, man. So I have first of all the number the two things that. I hate white teas, right? Inside the neck, when that shit yes. get brown. I look crazy outside now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then if you just get a stain on it, it's like I got some wine on my white tea. I'm like, damn, this white tea's done. But I couldn't go out like that. Like, literally, I had that t-shirt on for about an hour before I got a white no, wine on it. Man. Literally yeah. about an hour. So I'm like, nah. So I'm, I'm on TikTok. I'm looking up shit. Da, 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 da. Hydrogen peroxide. Baking soda. Dish soap. Make a little paste, right? So I hit the wine stain. As soon as I hit the wine stain, it turns blue. I'm nervous. I'm like, oh my God, is it about to be a blue stain now? But I trust the process. I wash the tea, it comes out. I'm like, okay. Wow, completely. that stuff's really completely it's like it's Not never there, there, bro. So I'm like, yo, what if I hit this shit on the neck? The brown shit on the neck. So I hit it on the neck. I'm like scrubbing it with the toothbrush. Da, da, da. You let it sit there for like I let it sit overnight. Let it sit there for like eight hours. Put it in the washer, shit come out, gone, bro. Damn. I'm like, bro, I'm not buying white teas no more, bro. I'm trying to save these motherfuckers. Damn. Right? You know yup, I mean? they're my white Life. teas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah man. I need to get into that, man. I got some teas I don't want to let go. Yeah, so yeah you get man. You invest in a good quality mm-hmm. white tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the neck, though. The neck. Yeah. The, the neck, thing is, yeah. It's yeah. The sh- it, my thing is, uh, yeah, the neck will get dirty, and then there's like, the, I thought you were going to say the CLR route, because you can go to CLR route where it's like, it's that bleach. And it's, it's a little strong. Ain't that for rust and fucking? Oh, is that like shit? the? Uh, it's like red, yellow, and green type shit or whatever. Yeah, okay, hold on. Bro, that's okay, real. yeah, hold on. Y'all cleaning mold and shit. It ain't that gang. Sorry. Okay, chlorox. I think it's put on his oxyclean. Okay, okay, yeah. It's a bleach. It's every white bleach. Okay, okay. Also here in the states, they got that heavy doo to shit. My thing is like, I can get stains out, and I got pretty all right with getting certain stains out, especially if it happens right away. Nice. My thing is the skeleton now, nah, show the, the shirt ske- structure. The skeleton of my white tee is like mm. is a little raggedy. So I mean, no white tee is gonna last forever, and that's yeah. cool. No black tee is gonna last forever. No tee is gonna last forever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I'm just trying to get a couple more wears yeah. out of my yeah. white tee. You know what I'm saying? Life. Yeah, you know what I mean. I just threw a bunch of white tees, man, because I had that fucking mustard neck. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so Well you could you could have saved some of them, man, for sure. Yeah. Just, oh, my thing is the, What's man. another good hack is you know the denture tabs? There's a there's there's this tab. I use it for my Invisalign. Just drop it in some water and it like clean your Invisalign. But mm-hmm. they got one that if you throw that it's not for that, but if you throw it in your laundry, it do the same thing to white mm. t shirts. Damn. And like white what clothes. What the fuck is bleach for then? Same diff. Same diff. But you know, bleach be you know what I'm saying? It's it crazy. Really- 
You yeah. gotta make sure everything is white. Bleach be bleach be crazy. Yeah. You, don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like even when but I bleach a load, it don't. It's just it don't like, bleach. Bro, where's where? Yeah. yeah. It's almost yeah. like. What were you doing? Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's when you got to go up to the heavy duty shit where it's like, bro, this is <laughs> CLR. CLR, <laughs> dog. Like, this is fucking clear. That's what CLR stands for. It's going to be clear stance. It's going to be a whole people that think, what are you talking about? They're going to think I'm trying to disintegrate a body. That's when the feds start tapping my shit. <laughs> hey, what's great for blood stains? <laughs> yeah, God, what's, good, what's good for getting out stains? People. Yeah, you never want to be buying bleach and boots. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta buy bleach with some groceries, man. Don't buy anything yes, else. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yes, alarming. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't mean to say this, but here we go. Or here we go, <laughs> bro. If I'm a murderer, I'm gonna be whoa, pretty whoa. good at buying my shit. Hey, hey, man. You ever like? No, you ever go to like? You ever watch like movies and like? The fucking murderer is getting ropes, duct tape, and gasoline. I'm like, right. all right, like, you know what I mean? Right, Stop right, right there! <laughs> <laughs> you hit that button under there. I'm like, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> cash here. Hold on. <laughs> Can you wait thirty oh, minutes? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it should be an automatic <laughs> alert. <laughs> like you program it in a machine, you get a combination of certain items. combos. Yeah, Weird shit. you got to get a manager over to do the code and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check like, this nigga, man. You buy nitrogen oxide? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Plastic container. Hmm. <laughs> Zip it's, just too, it's like, you know, it's too obvious. Nigga, what yeah. you need rope for? Yeah. Duck bugs, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be crazy, hey, though, man. Right. Mm, no, for sure, for sure, for sure. However, if I did... They gonna find a way though, man. As yeah. long as they got court boards with red string and shit, they gonna put it together. Nah, man. You let a nigga in a suit put his arms at his waist and look at a court board. Mm-hmm. He's on to you. This is the thing. If I could <laughs> like live in a simulation, maybe I am already. If I can live in another simulation, and <laughs> another one. okay, I would love to be in a position where. There's the detective and the detective saying, okay, I'm going to try my best to bag you and you try your best not to get bagged. Like get but your number? All... <laughs> That's where my mind went. Yeah. Right. I suppressed hey, yo, it, bro. On, I right, suppressed it. Show me. I'm a detective. Right, nigga. Right, you see right, the rims? All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> playing hard to get. Oh, playing hard to get. <laughs> All right, man. The detectives out all his tricks. No. <laughs> no, like, if there's a simulation where it's like, all right, like, like, try and get away with fucking theft or murder or whatever, and it's like, I'm talking about a game. Like, yeah. I'm talking, guys, <laughs> it's me. <Yeah. laughs> but there's, just, there's, like, okay, I only get this idea because sometimes I'm watching movies and I'm like, bro. Why would you do that? That's gonna get you not right. Yeah, real, real. Where I'm like, all right, bye. It's almost like a perfect. It's like an escape room. You get put in an escape room. You're like, okay, I can get out of this shit easy. But there's certain mm-hmm. things I'm like, okay, I wonder if hypothetically this was like, like let's say they made a live escape room, but it's like fucking a detective, a real detective that's really gonna try and put clues together to to bag you or not. And maybe it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe there's something that you can do. I don't know, it's a working concept here, but you know, yeah, I'll, I'll fuck, I'll fuck uh, up. It's not landing for me, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sure they got a game going out there, getting ready to go. And nah, it's, it sounds. This sounds like someone was in the pitch room and they pitched and they said, "All right, don't, don't bring, bring that back to me." Oh yeah, we'll write that. <laughs> like, I don't see your pen moving. <laughs> I, I, remember, I, remember, I remember. Mental note. Mental note. Yeah, people be getting away with it, man. You see crimes that. That's what baffles me. Crimes yeah. from like the forties, and they be like, "We Unsolved. got him." He's like fucking ninety eight. Mm. Oh, he's starting yeah. to feel. I wonder if we ever talked about that, but old people that live, you know, what I mean, did their time. Mm-hmm. Like people old, they're old in the jail and they can't do shit. Mm-hmm. Let, Let them go or what? But they did some messed up stuff back in the forties. I have to say no, just because, just because you're old doesn't mean like you can't enjoy life. Right, and I think the point of it is like certain crimes, you give up that right to 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 get the things out of life that 
mm-hmm. you enjoy that bring enjoyment yeah. you know what i'm saying so i can, i have to say no still i don't know you gotta stand because everyone just gets fucking cute when you get yeah. old and shit oh, come yeah. on. look at him look at him yeah but yeah. i mean i think i think you know i think a lot of people that commit crimes they know like the possibility of the judgment that comes with that right like mm-hmm. When you when you doing it or before you do it or yeah. you know what I'm saying so like yeah you can't you can't really say oh once you hit if you hit make it to ninety you you good like you can it ain't <laughs> I don't think it it could work like that yeah I feel that man it's a tough you one know? I think I watched a documentary a YouTube documentary mm-hmm. of old people in jail shit mm-hmm. they're all cute and shit was yeah. fucking adorable they got the little walkers I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I get it. But you gotta look at her old pictures like, oh, no, nah, oh, fuck yeah, you, man. Fuck yeah. you, yeah. Fuck yeah. No bro, shit. That's you, gang? I it's still in here because it's most wanted segment. My thing is, like, I obviously, obviously, the fucking law system and all that shit is in place for obvious reasons. I get it, guys. Come on. But it's like, at the same time, there's another part of me where it's like, and I'm always be able to see two different sides of things, but there's a part of me where I'm like, bro, how can you, a man just like me, fucking human just like me look me in my eye and say yeah you're getting 50 years gang and then it's like if i go to obviously obviously mm-hmm. play it with me now if you go somewhere like indonesia or bali their system their system's not like that so it's like oh you probably just, that's just a misdemeanor you get a month for that mm-hmm. and a slap mm-hmm. on the wrist mm-hmm. it's like obviously places like vibes cartel getting locked up for murder but you don't want to go to jail in jamaica Cause you don't want to, you don't want to deal with their rules. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. We're mm-hmm. on this world. You guys don't own this world. For you to lock someone up and say, "Yeah, you're cooked." Yeah, no. Sometimes I can't believe it. <clears throat> like literally, but, what's happening to Young Thug right now? Like, and there's but no on solid the, proof, and like the system will do you in sometimes. For you to say, "Yeah," like Max B. I don't. Whatever. Obviously, okay. You know what I mean? We're gonna get into it. There's gonna be both sides, but like, bro, yeah. he's been cooked for years. Yeah, I think with Max B, <laughs> yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think with his situation, it's like the whole having priors and stuff like that, right? That's gonna like maybe you're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like what you're actually getting knocked for, maybe you shouldn't do like 40, 50 for, but cause I think he's knocked for like conspiracy yeah. to attempt or something like that. Yeah. So like, but you know, if you got priors and shit, then it's like, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy yeah. Jail crazy though, bro. Because I, I can't remember where, but I feel like I watched it. Do- I'd be watching YouTube documentaries. A YouTube documentary where it's really, they're really trying to hit rehabilitate you and actually get you to do better and not just like mm-hmm. punish you for the rest of your life, but like mm-hmm. you know, really transform you into a better person. Mm-hmm. So some, I, I can't remember what jail it was. Somewhere in Europe, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, or are they actually mm-hmm. like trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Literally make you a <laughs> yeah. better person through yeah, the there's activities just- they have you do and the way they treat you. And so that's the same thing like as like a psych word like right. if you go do something and, and yo you prove like yeah. yo I'm mentally <clears throat> yeah psych word to make it crazy unstable it, but it's like they'll send you to a psych word to like well that's a different level that's like fucking Shutter Island type shit but there's certain things <laughs> where it's like alright if you did like I feel like I want to say something happened like that with like a there's like a mass shooter and then he came on and said oh yeah i'm crazy and then they just put him in here and he's not in jail he's mm-hmm. over here getting yeah, fed yeah. like you know what i'm saying like yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's certain things that are just not gonna make sense because you can just claim you're this and then they go put yeah. you here but it's like something as, as small as and again you don't okay you gotta understand i'm a man that thinks a lot of things yeah. fast yeah <laughs> i'm traveling back here and I'm fucking scared. I'm smoking gas in Amsterdam. And I'm like, yo, it's so crazy. Just the thought. I'm like, yo, if I went out one night and I put a spliff in my pocket and now I'm traveling, you I can go to jail. You for- saw Miss Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. It's like, get in the van. Oh, make yeah. This quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit like that. Where it's like, bro, if I get on this plane and I forget that there's a spliff in my thing, now I'm done mm-hmm. for like 15 years. And you guys mm-hmm. are like, wait, what happened? And I'm just in the bin. And it's like, how you guys just taking 15 years? Off a genuine mistake. That's when you gotta be like, unhappy. (laughs) 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 But they can't get to if you let this and shit. Yeah, but that's (laughs) when you're cooked even more. Because now everything you do, (laughs) yeah, resisting arrest, resisting arrest, another five years. And that's the thing I'm talking about. Because Sheldon, you're saying the priors and all that. Let's say prior to this, nigga, I was smoking on that gas for real. Mm-hmm. And it's like 15 years ago, <laughs> I gave that life up. 
But now I get mm-hmm. caught with some more gas accidentally. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, because of your priors, now it's 30 years. Yeah. Look, it's def- it's it's a it's definitely a flawed system because sure, at the end of the day, sure. like it's it's humans governing other humans and none nobody's perfect. So right. it's like it, there's definitely mistakes in it, but something got to be in place. That's my thing. If you yeah. out there murdering and doing all this shit, all right, man, mm-hmm. I get it. You're gonna get what's coming to you, but there's still in the world where I'm like, all right, man. Mm-hmm. Who says you're telling me, bro? You're gonna go home and take a shit, just like I'm gonna go home and take a shit, and you're telling me I have fifty years. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me seventy five. Just tell me fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Literally, yo, get out of here. Like, you might as well get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I Anyways. feel you, bro. I feel you. Yeah, nah. When hit I a nigga with man, like hundred eighty years. Like, don't tell me that. Why? Why you just? Why you just? Yeah, you just you just being mean. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but I mean, man. if you if you did some fucking crazy shit like what can yeah, i say you gotta hear that yeah, yeah maybe you gotta hear that like, man. tell him okay. tell him in days if it's real bad you gotta tell him in oh in fuck. days God. oh man but julian days, million days. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> just said, well, and i remember i got that as a real kid um i got some real life experiments where experiments, experiments? I want, <sighs> experience? experience there you where go where a friend's dad went to jail and mm. by the time he came out like he didn't know what an iPhone or an iPad or iPod touch, uh, was. touch was. He didn't know Apple was. He didn't, I think, yeah, no, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but it's like he just, it was that to me. I'm like, holy shit, man. Like, you're gone yeah, for that long that you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Sure. There's days yeah. I've been gone. Oh, yeah, anyways. Mm-hmm. I try to stay out of trouble, man, because, bro, if I. <sighs> I don't Honestly, even try to stay out of trouble. I'm not a troublemaker. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> like, bro, I'd be saying, living, bro. You could get caught yeah. doing some fucking shit that's genuinely a mistake, and at that point, I'd be so fuck. Like, I'm yeah. telling you, I checked everything. Yeah. My For sure, I, I know people For that sure. legit bring drugs into another country. I'm like, you're insane. You're yeah, ma- like you're really, like sure. bring a little thing to Jamaica. My like, dog, they have it there. Get yeah. it there. <laughs> yeah, literally, get it there or get lost. <laughs> And don't say you're checking in with me, nigga. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> tell the board you're traveling alone, bro. Bro, I've been watching Locked Up Abroad lately. Just like binging it. Oh my it. gosh, man. Yo, crazy fucking show. So there's this girl that goes. I forget where they went. Jamaica. But they went. It wasn't Jamaica. But they went to get drugs, right? And she had to take somebody with her. I guess whoever her connect was was like, to take somebody with you so it looked, I guess, less suspicious, whatever. Yeah. But she didn't tell, bro. Come on, she, man. She didn't tell bro, man. That's what I'm saying. Now he's cooked. Got, got bro caught up. Cooked. 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 And you're in Brazil prison. Oh, my God, bro. When we get in jail, we're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's man and yeah, woman, so they in, they in different oh, jails. Shit. <laughs> he just mad yeah. at the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fucking bro. crazy, man. This crazy. is crazy. You ever actually oh my God. not do something? And you're saying I didn't do it, and you're like, damn, I sound like these niggas. You sound yeah. crazy, yeah, 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 yeah. Trust cooked. me, I'm innocent. Yeah, oh, yeah, you all right. heard Tell that one before. The book, <laughs> but in a different language. Like, yeah. uh, you can't even like. Remember, you try to get your money back for that scam, whatever. When you got scammed in Tulum, mm-hmm. you're trying to like deal with credit cards out there. Mm-hmm. Imagine trying to deal with your freedom, Mm-mm. and you're in jail. Oh boy, and the language barrier, and like the. Systems are totally different. It's like, oh man, yeah, yeah. Uh, and like you said, the way that they govern is different from us. So different. you might you might feel like you got certain rights, and they like not over here. <laughs> not here, we'll try to fuck. Oh, yeah, I we don't care about that. The With a straight face, they torture you to make you say what they want you to say and sign. That's crazy. Yeah, for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You've been watching mm-hmm. that for sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. Then they just tackle me, but bro, I swear, man, that shit, that shit crossed my mind all the time because people are nasty people. People mm-hmm. are, are, you know what I mean? Like, I, I had a random security check, and I'm getting on the plane. They pull me from the line to just randomly check my bag, and I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, if this guy really wants to, he can slip a little coke. Oh, what's mm-hmm. this? Yeah, I've never seen that in my life. Yeah, yeah. right. Get him. Yeah. Now I'm missing my flight. 
And yeah. yeah. It happened to me in Germany. Yeah. It was me yeah. and a woman in a scarf. Like, you're right. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you. Like, right. take out everything? Yeah. They're like, on the sign it says take out your phone and, you know, obviously the usual mm. stuff, your laptop, tablets, whatever. But she's like, every fucking cord in my bag was coming out. I'm like, what do you want? This too? Really? Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, this too? Yeah. That's Damn. just, man, don't play yeah. in my freedom, bro. Literally, don't play yeah. in my freedom. And if you find some gas in my bag, hook me up to a lie detector because it ain't mine. And then they're going to go back on a podcast and see me saying, bro, I smoke gas. What's this? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Don't watch that episode, officer. But I feel you. There should be like, and maybe there is. Maybe there are certain laws in place of just like, if you do get caught going through customs or whatever with a certain like less than a certain amount, and like no priors, like you should be able to get like some type of warning or, you know. Yeah, so we got. I was about to say, did we ever say that story on a podcast? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, we almost that wasn't even me. Yeah. That's his story. <laughs> well, how, yeah, that was a situation where I was just on the same booking thing. We had the same code and shit. You must I'm know. Sitting in the fucking slant. Nah, yeah, exactly. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. Nah, it's because gang nah, aroma. Because gang's aroma is strong. So Who's, you're getting pulled over. My oh, okay. Was, yeah. Cause you're oh, aroma. no, but what they found. All right, look. Because look, we in the Vancouver. But, but yeah, tell it properly. What? We in Vancouver. You know what I mean? Tree capital of Canada. For mm. sure. Be smoking Lee. trees out there and shit. shit. They mm. So much so that they have a fucking tree section at the airport where you could just smoke a tree and then go through your processing, whatever, to get in. Process sure. tree. Oh, you really? I mean? So we do that. We have like, trees on us. Pause there. Mm -hmm. I pitched this to them because when I was leaving the airport last time, I said, bro, you can smoke your weed at the airport and leave. Nice. Yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> it's legal. We're going back to the US of A, by the way. Yes. Oh shit. Okay. But it's legal. Yeah, I'm smoking what? I, mean, I can't be toasty on a plane. What's wrong with that? Yeah, nothing's wrong with that. If you're of age. So we walk up. Yeah. So we walk up to customs. He's like, "You guys smell like marijuana." I'm like, yep. Smoked outside, right by the marijuana section. He's like, I'm like, all right. I'm just gonna have to uh, take a closer look at you guys. And then they're like, uh, they put us in the, you know, what I mean, the second, <clears throat> the secondary screening room where we're sitting mm. down in the office, whole bunch of sketch bags and. You know, everybody in this little section waiting to to get their passports back and let through. Okay. So they're checking our bags. Because <laughs> he asked us if we smoke. So he said, do we smoke? We said, yeah. And then he mm -hmm. said, are you bringing anything back? I literally said, I'm, I was I said, can we just smoke the guy? We're <laughs> <laughs> gone. We're <I'm> gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's already in the air. Then, yeah, like, so he's going through our bags and shit. We've got a bunch of camera stuff. We hear, like, just, they're being reckless with it. Like, we hear stuff dropping and shit. So oh. keep standing up and shit. I'm like, no, what the fuck are you, what are you doing over you there? Don't need to do that. Yeah. And then yeah. we heard what we thought was a lens drop. <laughs> <laughs> we want no lens. It was a grinder. Oh, or like, yeah, we knew, we knew. I don't, I don't know what I knew. That's I fine. definitely wasn't thinking. I guess I, yeah, I did know. But I didn't know it was this technical. I didn't. I knew, yeah. But I didn't. But know he it was had this a grinder, the sick grinder. Oh shit, yeah. He's like, yeah, let's bring this back, and then <laughs> he puts it in his bag. <laughs> he puts it in his bag. Obviously, it's an empty grinder. Yeah. But he drops it, and we're standing up like, what the fuck is that? And he comes back with a grinder. He's like, I'm like, oh, it's nothing. No worries, whatever. There's nothing in there. Yeah. He comes back. He's like, all right, guys, bro, fucking residue. Crumbs, you couldn't even, you couldn't get nothing off of this Bro. if you had to. If this is your last push on earth, I, oh. I pause right there. <laughs> I'm at the Airbnb. We're about to check out. I'm looking at these guys. I already had one of these grinders. Mm -hmm. It is smooth like butter. It literally crushes your gas. You just want it for you want it for home. I already have one at home, Souvenir. but mm -hmm. mine is getting crusty on the edge, so it's a little okay. bit harder to turn. This Replace is a brand me. new one. We used it once. I said, mm. boy, should I bring this home? They said, Julian Jermaine, so figure it out. If you want to do that, whatever. I'm there. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking knocking those boots <laughs> off this fucking grinder. <laughs> Loud. It's clean. There's nothing in there. Now yeah. I put it in there. Fast yeah. forward. And he's there talking about residue. So and he, you know, this is, uh, you could get your, you could get fucked up for this. Like, well, whatever he said, he's like, they can get you. Yeah, for this. yeah they, they can could, get they, you. like not let you in the country for this. This is an offense. 
<sighs> and then he saw the look on our face. Oh, that's what. Like, okay, we got that, nigga. But what is it? It's nothing. Yeah. He's like, this is an, even a fucking millimeter of, even a fucking eighth Dust. of a gram. Eighth of a fucking milligram. Where I fucked up. We'll get right. you slammed. I said, all right, then smoke it. <laughs> roll, let me see you roll that up. Roll it up there, gang. Get your fix. Hey, that's a that's a good point that I need you to make right now. Smoke it. For sure. Roll it yeah, there. Show me. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't say that. We thought that. Yeah, I thought yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Like, oh man, da 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 da. He's like you could get in some serious trouble for this and get a strike and this and that and be put on a certain list or whatever. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go talk to my supervisor and see what's what. And we're sitting down. Oh, fuck, man. I didn't, like, I, yeah, okay. I, I didn't know it was this technical. And then the supervisor, he showed the supervisor and he's like talking to his guy. And then we hear him, we overhear him. He's like, this one's up, this one's up to you. You make the call. I'm like, come on, nigga. Come on. He's like, all right. You're going to have to sign this. It's a release form to say that like, we could keep the grinder. Da, da, da. You're going to leave it, forfeit it, whatever. And yeah, sign that shit down out of there. <laughs> okay, okay. Walk through. Yeah, I'm dude. looking like the man yeah, when I walk through. Walk through. If you yeah. ever need to sober up real quick, man, that'll do it. Customs. Yeah, let a customs officer show you your grinder with the yeah. fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the thing was, he was like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna let you guys go because we basically kept it a stack. We came in, we said, we said we smoked, we said we're not bringing nothing back, mm-hmm. and he said we're honest about it. But I'm just like, I literally said to him, I didn't know that. <laughs> there's literally not there's like if there was a little bit of gas in there all right and that needs to be like a thing like oh, if you have to educate me now in this moment so i know going forward okay but the thing but is, they say it's a general rule just like i don't know it's not an excuse yeah but it's like but i really didn't nah, know though. it gotta and, be i don't know and how much is it <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i can't say i don't know with 20 pounds like okay yeah, like, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah there's yeah there's there's definitely a level man because yeah. it's like even in that case oh, i don't know i was fucking stressing in there because once he showed us a grinder and now i knew okay we're impossible or it's possible yeah. we can get in trouble here it could I was down, like, but this is this is so stupid like why would i pack it yeah but it was so clean. What did I think I was getting away with? It's literally so clean. <laughs> literally, what do you think you got me for? You didn't get me for yeah. nothing. I told you yeah. guys I smoked weed. You said you are, we need to search you guys even more. I'm like, all right, well, like. So is the residue and not the grinder? The no, it wasn't even a grinder. If the grinder was perfectly clean, then you said, yeah, you're fine. But like, you said, mm-hmm. well, what's this? I'm like, bro, you mm-hmm. know what the fuck you're holding. I can't see it. Bro, okay, it was word. brand word. new. We literally crushed the spliffs that we smoked in there. Like that's yeah. the only. And I'm, I'm telling you, I fucking bang that shit out. <laughs> it was literally just like a little bit. Like uh, you know, I smoked some gas and rolled in here, and I, I mm-hmm. literally told myself, "Come on, bro." Next time you gotta just like really run the water through that. For real, I'm just not bringing it. It's just not worth I it. Feel it's not worth it. Yeah. Because a dog gonna smell it. Yeah, I don't even want the attention of that. Yeah, I feel you. That was the last. That was the last time, and um, yeah. Hit. Customs, customs. No matter what, you gonna feel. You gonna start sweating. Criminal. Yeah. And then, oh like, God, one more custom story for you. We're going to Jamaica, and we're coming back. And after we got our visas, it's, it's been like we've heard so many things: left, right, up, down. When you enter the country, you do this, you do that. We're hearing everything. You need this, you don't need that. And these are all customs officers telling us different things. Things. Mm. And how to enter the country with this <clears throat> visa. Some of them are saying you don't need a physical copy, which we didn't actually get. We got like a receipt. Mm-hmm. Some of them are like, where is this receipt? You're like, oh, I thought we didn't need it. And I show it to them, like, okay. And then other times they're like, get that fucking receipt Shit out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to do. Apparently, after COVID, they changed it. You're supposed to get a card. I asked the officer for a card. He's like, card? You don't get a fucking card. I'm like, all right, man, whatever. So now I'm tired of just getting these responses. So I just stopped asking. The border is the smoothest process when you are an American. Just like how you're Canadian when you're going home. It's so smooth. Welcome home. Make you feel like a fucking soldier. Welcome home. <laughs> all right, dog. Hey, no, Good job fuck? out there. Okay, I just bought a hat. I'll uh, come back. <laughs> yeah, just, dog, I just literally just went for some food, bro. So... When when now when you're Canadian entering with a visa again they're in your system they know you so it's like they, it's just oh welcome back you know enjoy your whatever mm-hmm. but certain people don't know 
like how this the, everyone's just taught differently. Some people are new, some people are old, some people are you know what I mean hearing something else. But it's the most frustrating system when you're traveling and you're tired and you're just trying to go home, and you have someone that uh, that's at the border that just wants to be a fucking idiot, and mm-hmm. it's like, yo, are literal visas stamped? Another officer stamped our passport. Says O one visa, this date from this date signed multiple times because I've already been in the states. And he's looking at it. So what do you, what do you do? <laughs> Where's your? You gotta have a paper. Where's the paper? I'm like, bro, literally, nigga stamped it. What do you think I'm? Do you think I drew that? That's literally Gandalf. All right. Y'all stamp. <laughs> you gave me a, my report card from Hogwarts, and you're looking at it saying, yeah. "Where'd you go here, dog? It's there. Y'all did this. Puts us into the room. Says, I I can't verify it, and I'm literally breaking it down. I said both of our passports are stamped different times, different dates, showing you when we got it. It's in the system when you look our name up and you scan our passports. Sends us into this ultra screening room for an extra, like, was an hour or two? Oh, legit an hour. Oh, what are we fuck. doing there? I've been traveling all day, bro. I'm tired. Then the officer pulls us up, a new one, talks to us. Nigga shaking his head, smirking, says, sorry, boys. Because you know what it is? Right when you mm. open that shit, it's going to say these guys have a visa. This is a different officer or the same yeah. one? Yeah, this is in the secondary screening room. Mm. So this guy's like, yeah, if they, like, they're trained, we're trained to. You, you know, double check and send us into this room if they have even like a a little bit of speculation of you know what I mean. If they have to ask any question, then they're supposed to just you know, if any doubt at all, send us into that room. Where we're explaining it, we're like, he's like, where's that? Where's the paper? You got a paper? I'm like, yeah, we have a paper, but it says it's not the actual visa, and it's not supposed to be used for you know entry into the country. Hmm. He's like, yeah, let's just let me take a look at it, and then I show it to him. He's like, yeah, this says that this can't, this doesn't even count as a visa. I'm like, I know, I I, that's why I didn't right. even show you. So why did you guys go to Jamaica? Vacation. Oh so what y'all got? A camera? Man. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Most. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Literally. And, 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 and it's just like, in you- this time, this is exactly what I mean when it's like, so now if this was a different court system in a different situation where I'm being framed with something and I generally didn't do it, but you're just a slow officer, yeah. I'm cooked. Yeah. You're done. I literally me. have yeah. everything in my, I have everything there. And you know, your exhaustion in that moment could lead to you escalating things. Frustration. To where, you know what I'm saying? Yes. To where it just makes shit Now yeah. I'm angry, nigga. Yeah. And, I'm and you know tased. how they do that. And now yeah. I'm getting tased. Bro, they want to chop it up with you and shit after the fact. The guy already called the officer. He's like, yeah, come get these guys. And he's like, so, like, what do you think of the state of comedy? Shut the Man. fuck up. Oh. You're the biggest joke, nigga. Shut, yeah. Right I, here. I think you should be headlining. <laughs> <laughs> you on the marquees, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and then the Damn. secondary officer, so what do you guys do? I'm like, I don't want to deal with you guys. Ask him. <laughs> yeah. Just let me talk to who I got to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Tough. Man. It's just Fuck. it's, it's the last is the last thing. It's imagine imagine <laughs> you get pulled over. The cop asks to see your license. You give him a license. He's looking at it. You're from Nebraska, and he arrests I you and you. sends you downtown. <laughs> Dog, I'm visiting. And I can drive here with this license. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Why? Like even that? Why are you taking an hour away from me? Yeah. Now fifteen years. Yeah, right. Real deal, man. If I could activate Mm -hmm. cheat codes for a minute and not get punished for the cheat code I'm about to do, X, Y, up, down, Z, super punch, and I'm snuffing him through. (laughs) 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 Light his ribs up. (laughs) (laughs) Resume time. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) What happened? On fire? No, good, you see them sharks getting active and shit. No. Yeah, they're out here attacking, man. All right, we got it. We got a two minute one. We got a two minute fourteen joint from Tolly the Voice. Damn. 
What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tyler, the voice. The deal, Tyler. Uh, from Brooklyn, but living in North Carolina. Shout out Brooklyn. Shout, shout out, out North to, Carolina. Uh, Love the show. Mm-hmm. Thank you, man. Uh, I just wanted Thank to you. submit a little clam right. chowder story based off of that. Jay's tweet. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. A couple days ago. Nice. Oh, clam chowder. But basically, man, uh, they took like my whole Fucking grade. Express of express with that mean movie. Whole grade. Something like 100 <sighs> kids. Or Holy kids. fuck. Know, maybe 200 kids. To Cape Cod. And we, uh, we went on this trip. It's called the Whale Watch. And basically, bro, like, you know, they give you, like, the guidelines, like, you know, no, like, running around on the boat. You know, you got to be safe because, like, you know, we got choppy water. It's, like, you know, middle of, like, I don't know, March or April or something. And we're going to see some whales. They'll breach. It'll be cool. They also give us a fore- forewarning about the clam chowdy. So don't, <laughs> listen, gang, if you never had that clam chowder, don't eat that. Mm-hmm. And, you know we kids we were like 12 or something so we we're like but it sounds good it smells mad good it's like the main thing on the boat we're in cape cod bro we're in like massachusetts maine or something you know and that's like lobster central so we're like fuck it we're gonna get the clam chowdy oh, we get the clam yeah. chowder. brother it was a massacre on the boat there were something like 110 kids just yakking off the side of this boat for hours oh. and we're not like close to shore we're we're like at least a good two hours out in the middle of the ocean <laughs> On this enormous whale watching boat, I remember I, uh, damn, damn. my homie Raymond Zhang at the time we were sitting down eating the, the clam chowder. It's going down. It's good, bro. It's good. Mm-hmm. Five minutes later, everybody's looking around. Boats are rocking. One kid's green in the face. Next kid's green in the face. One kid lays on the table. Oh man, I don't feel too good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all over the cafeteria, bro. They shut the whole boat down. They had to turn the boat around and send us back to the crib, bro. So, uh, yeah, man, that's probably why a lot of people don't, I don't know. I mean, at least for me, that's my reason for not messing with the clam chowder, bro. It's, uh, that's fair. It's deadly yeah, on yeah. the stomach, gee. especially on the ocean. I don't know why they let a bunch of 12-year-olds eat clam yeah, chowder yeah. in the open ocean. It, there should have been an adult to say, like, no, we gave you guys the warning, but, like, it's actually prohibited. <laughs> prohibited? Cool. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. What a good story, man. Great story, man. <laughs> I was about what? to say, clam chowder is known to get people sick, though, because of all is the it? fish and all. Yeah, clam chowder has always been the thing to, like, literally, if you search clam chowder on Google, probably the first thing that comes up is throw up. Mm. Clam chowder throw up? I'm telling you, bro. Like, clam even chowder. You, like, if you say clam chowder out of a can, niggas going to be like, bro, what is you doing, gang? Like, But that might be the safe for the people version, the one mm-hmm. in the can, because I did grow up off that uh, Chef Boyardee clam chowder. Mm-hmm. Search clam chowder yak or throw up. Well, you're going to get what you search no, for. No, like, just, hold on, let me see. <laughs> you got to, like, okay, press space. And let's see what the first one is. Clam chowder near me. A recipe, okay. Uh, put, put, um, T. Put a T. Just one T. Types, taste, tomato based topping recipe. Okay. Search why clam chowder make me throw up all the time. <laughs> you gonna find what you're looking for with that, sir. <laughs> yes, sometimes this happens. Yeah, yeah, see, that's what it is. PSP. Oh, mm. so, okay. So the PSP is caused by eating shellfish contaminated with a saxy toxins. Saxy toxins. <laughs> oh shit. PSP most cases occur after people eat clams or mussels, and that's the thing I'm talking about. Sometimes there's certain things that humans don't have to eat, bro. Clam chowder food poisoning. It's common. Oh, Sheldon had to go pee real quick. Oh, yeah, well, you might have had that clam chowder. Yeah. All I know is it's often. Go scroll that down real quick. Why clam eating chowder. clams make you sick makes us some... Why eating... Well, I know, yeah, I know you can't fuck around with all clams and shit. You can't fuck around with all clams. Yeah, I guess that's just it because it has all that clam shit in there and different clams and shit. Food poisoning from shellfish. Okay, so I had clam chowder. Okay, yeah. Damn, bro. Shit, man. That's yeah, a good nah, story, though. I wouldn't fuck with no clam chowder on a boat, though. Mm-mm. But when you get when you get a good clam chow, it's fire. Yeah. On land, though. I'm doing clam mm-hmm. chowder on land. I do a yeah. burger on the boat, though. Slit. Remember those burgers on the boats? That's why I bring that up. Damn. We had a fishing trip with Waleed. Mm-hmm. I was going to say unlimited burgers, but as much as your money could buy, mm-hmm. they have burgers grilling for you. Yeah. The best experience. Yeah. Damn, bro. Shout my man. Shout my man, Totally the Voice, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What a wholesome episode, man. Listen, yep. you know what we need from you, man. Hold some comments down there in the comment section, man. Mm-hmm. 
wholesome reviews, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you got that bell button on click. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sheldon, welcome back. Thank you. I'm back, yes. Happy to be All here. day, man. Uh, listen, man. Gotta leave y'all with something. Leave y'all with something, man. Um, <sighs> not every clam chowder is going to chowder the same. Word of Thule. <laughs> <laughs>